Welcome to another coexisting video. Last time we had the Holy Trinity, uh, the 5K special. And today we have dishes. I need to do them. Um, there's no way around. I have to do it. I'll, I've been living out of my dishwasher for too long. Like the whole week. <laughs> like literally the last time I did my dishes was last week for the video. And then I just kind of survived on living out of the dishwasher and I'm like uh, mm, it works right it works but uh, now my spoons are empty and I need new spoons like this is the main reason for it because I eat almost or like my most used uh, cutlery is the spoon and my least used is probably the fork because I don't know it's just I eat a lot of like oats and stuff and and you know about my my cornflakes um morning addiction so you know there goes spoons then for lunch i mean pasta yeah pasta is sometimes tough to eat with a spoon but somehow i always make it work and so but getting rid of the forks is not a thing, right? Because one day you know you need them. And then you don't have them. So, doing the dishes to get my spoons back. And my, uh, my cups and glasses. Because apparently I use them a lot. I don't know for what. I mean, I know for the shake and stuff, yes. But like, water? I don't really drink water out of, um, out of like a... A bottle, a glass bottle. Also recently, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. There's like a mystery going on here. Because, I mean, maybe this is a weird topic, but you know, this is life. <laughs> I feel like I don't drink enough. Right? Because, you know, when it gets colder, like when it's when it's summer, you I'm, I'm thirsty, right? It's hot, you sweat, thirsty. Good, right? But in, in, in autumn, winter, when it's colder, I'm like, thirst, hello, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> you know, I'm like, huh? I mean, shouldn't we like kind of work together and you tell me when I need water? water? Thirst is on winter break. No thirst is happening. Maybe I drink enough, right? Maybe that's the reason why no thirst is happening. But it doesn't feel like it, right? And so I'm still confused when I have to go to the toilet a lot. So I'm like, huh? Where does all this water come from? And I think I found a solution midway. Or like a, a hypothesis. Um, that all the oat milk that I'm drinking is, a, is basically water. And maybe that is just... That, that adds just a very big part to it, right? Morning cereal, um, midday oats, shakes, everything, everything has oat milk. So, but then the next step is, do I feel good about <laughs> a large chunk of my liquid intake to be oat milk? I don't know. I mean, it's water, right? But <laughs> you kind of want to have, or I kind of want to have, a good mixture between that, right? Between water and oat milk. So I'm like, hmm. it's an ongoing mystery that I have to figure out. So maybe I take a little, like, more, I take a look into that, right? Of what I'm, uh, you know, what my liquid intake consists of. And I'm slowly but surely running out of things to do in terms of, uh, let me just quickly grab, because there's more. You thought this was all lying, <laughs> lies. There is more in my room. I'm slowly losing like big things to do in the apartment, right? You know, with the um, clearing and cleaning out the, the hallway uh, closet and getting rid of the shelf things in the kitchen and stuff. 
we've been doing these so consistently that I now just feel very, <laughs> very great in my own home, you know? I mean, there's still, there's still, there's a pile of bottles that have to be taken, you know, to the store that, you know, judging me from the silent corner, but, you know, aside from that, we are back to regular schedule coexisting cleaning tasks, which, like I said, is the whole trinity of cleaning your room, cleaning, uh, the kitchen dishes, cleaning the bathroom and so on and so on. But I mean, I think it's also totally fine. Maybe we just start some side series cause I thought about like other things to do as well. Like, I mean, this is a very good thing that I can just like, I often talk about this, but this is very good content that I have to do anyway. Like not the content, but the, the cleaning, right? And with having you here with me, that's just a very consistent thing you can do, right? And I'd always said having something that you can do consistent um, is a good start for content, right? Uh, in my opinion, because consistency beats out a lot of other stuff, right? But I also want to do other things, maybe, right? And the more it grows, the more other things you can do. And maybe we will have like next year or end of this year or like start like new series, 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 series of other things to do, like typical YouTube stuff. Um, but for now, we have this podcasty in between coexisting vibe. And I think what I actually want to say is that I was, I was thinking about, I'm now in this typical content creator state of mind where you think, ah, oh, the next video has to be better, greater, crazier, and you have to like evolve, right? But maybe the, the evolvement is like sometimes used at the wrong time or the wrong period of it, right? Because maybe, you know, we all just want to have the staple of chill, grounded, talking, coexisting, doing our, do, just doing our daily stuff. Because I see like YouTube is like, a lot of the trend is like faster, higher, bigger, better, crazier, and the great ones are able to you know, do this on a consistent basis. But I think I want to be an advocate for just the good old times, as some people would say. I would just say it like the, the chill times, the being more mindful about how you spend your time, being a little bit slower, still having, you know, a good edit here and there and some fun things. And yeah, it's just, I don't know get our attention span back a bit, you know, have something to watch on the side. Cause you know, if your video is too fast and you want to clean on the side, you maybe you got like distracted and watch it the whole time. And here, you know, even if you, if you just listen, it's fine. <laughs> and if you, if you, uh, you, you normally you get, you, you like, even if you only listen, you will kind of have a feeling for where the funny edits are, right? <laughs> so when that happens, you can come back and look at it. And so I'm currently battling my inner critic who wants to innovate everything and be like, oh, don't do another. Uh. I don't know why he has a high pitched voice. Maybe. Oh, I don't want you to. Maybe he has a low voice. I don't want you. No, he has a high pitched voice. <laughs> Yeah, Mondays. Um, who wants to like critique me and be like, oh, you know, don't be boring, do more cool stuff, go out and do like this and this and that. And I'm like, no, 
it just works the way it is. And this is this is like what I can consistently bring. And we, we shall see if people enjoy this, need this, have a need. Not, not in like not being able to live without it, <laughs> but you know, enjoying it. And there is like an actual application in their daily life for it. Oh my lord, it's the water hot, as always. I never learn. But now I also have this issue with the hot water that, that there's like, I have this new tray here and maybe you can see it on this camera and the the faucet is kind of you know hitting against it so i can only go for very cold or very hot so that's a decision <laughs> that i have to do and i'm a big advocate like i always say i'm a big advocate for hot water cleaning because the energy it brings that's how i can how i can explain it makes it so much easier to get rid of like daily stains without having to go for dish soap all the time which is also fine but sometimes I'm just like ah, I don't want to I don't want to um, apart from that typical weekend today is Monday for me too in case you're wondering I record these on Monday edit these go to singing lessons, come back, finish the editing, do the short form video, and then sometimes Monday is gym time, sometimes it's Tuesday, whatever, whatever. Currently I feel a little, you know this autumn vibe where like the air gets colder, so you have like uh, the heater on again, and so the air is a little bit more dry in your room, and suddenly everybody is sick, and you're like, hmm, how do I feel about that, have a little, have a little uh, maybe some like uh, throat things going on but you don't really know why so you take it a little bit easier and and currently I'm like hmm am I getting sick or not I don't think so I think it's just like the change right but I take it a little bit more easy on the gym and you know give it a little day-to-day -day decision um, on where and what to do and when to go um also as always time flies when you do this in the videos but this shall not be all of it we do like a typical quick not like it to be quick but like not not a deep clean just a quick clean of all the surfaces in here and yes i'm using dish soap because it's just the ultimate all-in-one, do do everything at once <laughs> kind of vibe. Also, I'm, I don't think I have another alternative. I can also clean the sink while we're here. Give it a little, right? Uh, whatever, a little, a little clean. Like just like when I was a child, I totally underestimated the power of like a little daily clean right let it let it be weekly i don't know as a child i was very how to say how to say without insulting my my younger self <laughs> i was just typical like having a a chaotic room you know a kind of child i never understood really like why i had to clean my room blah 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 there was no need for me right there was no benefit back then apart from my parents wanting it because i was like i can just live within a little bit of chaos right and so i underestimated um cleaning like just a consistent clean, right? How nice it can feel if you just, and how easy it is, right? There was also a time where I, it was not my greatest decisions, but there was a time as a child where um, they were, we decided to who gets which room, right? Um, my brother and I, and I, I'm the older brother, but I decided 
or I gladly took the smaller room. And you would be like, why would you take the smaller room? Yeah. I thought my calculations uh, told me, <laughs> I didn't calculate it, but like, you know, my, I thought, hmm, if I have a smaller room, I have less space to put things on the ground, for example, so I have to clean it less, right? Cause less space, so the cleaning is faster. And it, this is partially right, right? You, you, it, it gets, like the room is full quicker and the room can be cleaned a little bit quicker cause there's less, you know, less space to, to just, you know, yeah, less space to put things on the ground. But obviously I still didn't clean it and I still, it still looked chaotic. And this didn't help me at all to get the motivation to clean it more often. <laughs> to this day, I'm like, huh, why did I decide that? But, you know, later we changed back and that's long story short. I, how do I clean this now? Do I take, I think I want to take this because this is too, this is too dirty. For, ah, no, I'm using a, ah, my brain talking about things and not knowing how to clean. I, I use this one first. Um, but long story short, nowadays, also because of the videos, I'm, I appreciate a good midweek, mid, midday quick clean and then have like a deep clean every once in a while. I usually do not, or until now I haven't showed you like a deep clean on YouTube because I do think it will take too long, you know? And I also don't want to take it away from me because this is more like a, I mean, you're, you're, you all guys know it probably. This is more the typical Sunday afternoon or Sunday in general, put the music in, have like two to three hours to yourself and like fully go in, right? Clean everything you know, take a little break in between, let everything soak, then clean it again. And you know, this, this type of vibe. And we are not, I don't want to, maybe, it, maybe some people think that, but I hope nobody does. I'm not a cleaning channel. <laughs> um, I don't try to portray a cleaning channel because I'm not a cleaning expert and I never want to be. Um, for me, it's more about showing you authentically, you know, how, because some of these cleaning videos are so overboard where I'm like, I don't even have these, these tools. I've never seen them and it's nice to watch, right? But it doesn't give me like uh, the vibe of, oh, I want to do this as well, right? Because I'm not too much into cleaning. I just wanted to be clean enough so I like it, but I don't, oh. I don't want it to be clean and uh, super clean. I want it to be clean enough um, for me to, to feel good, but I don't need like a deep, clean, insane, everything looks like new. I can do this once, once a year maybe, but not like every time. So here it's more for me about really the coexisting vibe. And you know, we can coexist with a lot of stuff. I also thought about um, me doing some work on the computer, like having a video of that or all of the other things you can do. But this is just the best one to combine a lot of things. You know, I have to do it anyway. It's good, good for talking. You can also watch it if you want to see like, you know, the progress and stuff. So overall, don't get it wrong. Not a cleaning expert. Just a dude, you all can coexist with here in the longer videos. I know, Flynn, you gotta take the toaster and do it clean underneath. Yeah. <laughs> not, 
today. <laughs> Not today. This is for deep clean Flynn, for future Flynn. Right now is Monday. Monday, get to work Flynn. Uh, type type stuff. So now I take this paper cloth. Nice. Now it's empty. Amazing. It's, uh, sad. But this should be enough to get the rest of this little damn. They actually did a good job of taking the water away. I thought this was just for. Oh, okay, okay, this works pretty great. Lovely. Lovely. Easy. So now I can start this week off with a medium clean kitchen and especially with new dishes and a new spoon. Hey, bananas, don't you have to don't, yeah, go down here again. And yeah, hope you have an amazing start to your week. Um, an amazing day, an amazing cleaning, whatever you did, an amazing chill out in bed. And as always, we see each other next time.